Hello everyone. I, I've been putting off making this video for oh, a couple weeks. Um, I had promised a, a flip of my Inktober 2019 um, videos uh, or, or drawings. Sorry. But uh, I... The original title for this video was going to be my Inktober 2019 failure. And um, I don't like that word. I don't like the, I don't like to even ever consider anything you do with art a failure. Anytime you attempt to do any type of art project, it is not a failure. It is a learning process. It is uh, a a growth for you. Okay, so if it doesn't turn out exactly the way you think it should turn out, it doesn't matter. You still attempted it. It's not a failure. Um, my friend Lisa from Lisa My Eclectic Life recently did a photo, uh, a video, and. I'm going to put a link in the description box below to that video because it helped me clarify this project and to not feel like it's a failure, but just to understand that it is just not my kind of project. Um, that is the most important thing. Sometimes we learn things about ourselves other than the ability to draw something or whatever. Um, the reason I felt like this project was a failure was that uh, I told you in the beginning I was going to take different papers and I was going to draw on different papers all, all the time. I was going to do um, try to do sketches out of this book. Um, the the, this Encyclopedia of Flowers. Um, now, granted, we were on a trip, but I have learned, and I should have known, first off, drawing is not my favorite thing to do with art. It just isn't. Um, mixed media and uh, collage and those kinds of things, they really intrigue me. Drawing does not. Uh, I do try to attempt it because I'm not very good at it. So, rather than a failure because I didn't finish the project, the, the Inktober project is to create a drawing each day in October with ink uh, or to do something with ink. It's not about a drawing. And maybe next year I will attempt it in a different manner using ink as a supply instead of um, a drawing or doing something a little different. Um, one of the things I found was that even though drawings don't take very long, I couldn't seem to accomplish them. Um, I, I found that um, I wasn't doing them. And it was not because we were on our trip. I mean, it was I had time to stop and do a drawing, but uh, I would try very hard to do one each day and needless to say that I started real well and then then I found I was having to play catch up and and the thing about Lisa's video that made me understand something is that not all projects are something that we truly enjoy and I think a failure in art would be to do something you don't enjoy. Art is supposed to be about joyful expression. And if it's not, if it doesn't, if it doesn't help your soul in some way, if it doesn't make you feel good about what you're doing, then maybe it's time to switch something up. Um... I won't attempt this project in this manner. Again, I might attempt it in a different way, but not in this particular manner. Um, 
I'm going to show you some of the drawings. Um, I I was going to just try to draw basically out of the book. Um, I did write down the page numbers so that I could show you later. Let's see. Can't see that one. Oh, let's put it. Well, this is the drawing. Let's see. Here we go. I have to move things around, I guess. This drawing and this one. Um, like I said, I, I seem to end up having to play catch up. The first couple of days I did okay. After that, I did find that if I did my drawings a little smaller, um, the book wasn't at hand this day, so I just grabbed and did something. Hmm. I apparently did not put down the page for that one. Sorry. Um, I was sitting and waiting on this day. Um, I had to wait for a, a business to open. I just drew what was across the street from me. I think I was just playing. Um, so, I was in the laundromat, can you tell? But I just found that this this is not my kind of project. Um, if I had started out to do doodles, because um, for the 100 day project a year or two ago, I did doodles every day, I might have done better with it. Um, that's what I'm saying is that, you know, you have to, if it's not a project that you really enjoy if you stop doing it it's not a failure it's just a project that you have found that you don't enjoy that does not really look like my hubby but you know that's what I was attempting oh I did use one of my drawings on a postcard one day Page 330. That's this little drawing right here. I mean, I, I didn't even draw anything that day. And you can see my waning attention. I'm, I'm just not really into this project. And that is something... There's the... I don't know if you can read right here. It says, might better start over. <laughs> it's like, okay. 
Whatever I was draw. Oh, I think it was an M&M &M man. Okay. Some days I just drew. Some days I tried to draw things that were in my vision. And... See, then I ran out of steam. It was just not... It's just not my project. It's not something I enjoyed. Um, I'm not going to feel like I failed at it, though. After listening to Lisa's video, I can let the project go, and I can say, okay, I attempted it. I don't enjoy that. I'm not going to try to do that again. I will, If I do attempt to do something for the Inktober thing, it will be something totally different. I won't try to do realistic drawings because they just are not something I enjoy doing. And therefore, I can go on and feel like it is not a failure. It was a learning experience. Anyways, guys, that is... I showed you all my drawings for Inktober and... I have explained how I feel about it now, which really makes me feel better. Thank you, Lisa, very, very much. I do appreciate that. Um, just, we all have unfinished product projects. Letting them go and not feeling like we should try to complete them is a good thing. It's a learning experience for ourselves. So, um... I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that um, it helps you to establish which projects are yours and which projects aren't, <laughs> are for you and aren't for you. Um, and I just really wanted to show you my drawings as well. So I'm going to read you a quote from my 1001 Ways to Creativity book. Just as a large percentage of your life is spent dreaming, so a large percentage of your creativity should come from dreams. Okay, guys, go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.